track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. We are a little chilly this morning, but we're slightly warmer than where we were yesterday, so at least that's something. We've got mainly clear skies in the northern half of the area right now, but we do have some clouds beginning to move through, so there's a live look out of our Manhattan camera this morning. We've got another shot out of our Emporia camera as well, so hopefully we get a pretty nice sunrise with some of these clouds moving through the area, but temperatures are ranging anywhere from those low to mid 30s this morning, so we're at 34 degrees in Topeka, 35 in Hiawatha and Burlington, 34 degrees in Emporia, Junction City and Marysville this morning and we're at 31 degrees in Clay Center. So certainly grab those jackets this morning and you probably will need them later on this afternoon too, especially once our winds begin to pick up because we are watching a cold front that's going to be moving through the area later on this afternoon. So here's a quick look at our future temperatures starting that at 730 this morning. That cold front starts to arrive right around lunchtime, especially for our northern and western county. So that's actually when you're you guys are going to hit your high temperatures today in those lower 50s. That cold front pushes through, you're already dropping back into the mid 40s in Concordia, Marysville, Seneca, Hiawatha too. Same goes for Clay Center. Actually, we're going to warm up into those mid to upper 50s south and east and just ahead of that front. But then we have that breezy northerly wind right behind it initially, and that's going to make it feel a little bit more chilly going throughout the rest of this afternoon. So overnight temperatures dropping back into the 20s, and then we're going to struggle to even make it out of the 40s in some spots tomorrow afternoon with that cooler air sinking in. So here's a look at our satellite and radar at some of those clouds streaming in from south central and western Kansas this morning. So we'll continue to watch that for the next few hours, but that cold front will pass dry today. There's a closer look at our satellite and radar just beginning to see those clouds lifting to the north of I-70. We do have a rain chance, though, to talk about Friday night into Saturday. So here's a quick look at your future track. Those clouds begin to increase for us Friday afternoon, and then we'll start to see that rain chance increasing for our south and eastern counties late Friday night and into early Saturday morning. That begins to push off to the east early Saturday, and then we might have a little bit of a break before another slight chance for some scattered showers comes in later on Saturday afternoon before that all wraps up for us, and then we get a front to come through, giving us cooler air for our Sunday. Now here's a, another look at our upper air, our uh, jet stream over the next several days because we do have that system coming through for the weekend. You can see that little dip here in the jet stream by Saturday. And then we've got uh, pretty quiet weather setting up for us for the rest of the week. Whenever you see the jet stream get this big ridge in it, this means we're gonna have very quiet weather coming up here in Northeast Kansas. We've got high pressure that sets up. That's going to give us a lot of sunshine southerly breezes, warmer temperatures, and it doesn't look like we get our next system to even try to come together until sometime next weekend. So looks like we have a pretty long stretch of some dry, quiet weather again, probably above average temperatures as well. So by the time we get to Friday night and Saturday, we've got that chance for rain, especially south and east, warming up into those mid to upper 60s with a southerly breeze ahead of that front that moves through late Saturday into Sunday. We'll cool off into the upper 50s both Sunday and Monday, and then we slowly start to warm things up through the middle of next week, and we'll stay dry probably until next weekend at least.